Hey, this is Sean. Um, what uh, we're gonna do is today we're gonna work on uh, Dell 3 Optiplex 380. We're gonna install fresh um, um, fresh Windows 10 operating system. Uh, let me tell you what this computer has and then uh, we'll go through step by step how to do it. That way you would know. First, turn the computer on gotta go to the BIOS to see what is this computer got so it's Dell Optiplex 380 so all right uh, you can see Dell Optiplex 380 all right go down to the system this computer is has 4 GB RAM and 2.93 um, core 2 do and let me show you what uh, what hard drive I put in so hard drive you gotta go to the drive so with your mouse click on drive and then disk drive so you see it has 250 uh, GB hard drive on it so that's what we're gonna use to download uh, Windows 10 so what is first thing we're gonna this is uh, as you know I have a USB I need to show you guys how to uh, make a bootable drive so you put that into um, one of the one of the USB slot so put that in there all right now what you do is control all delete exit out of this and then press F12 keep pressing F12 and it will show you the it will show you the, the operating so now uh, first thing is the hard drive and the bottom is USB so we're gonna choose the USB device and press enter okay now it's gonna take a few seconds then we'll go into the operating system so it's going to take a few seconds these computers are very nice um, you can install anything in it and runs really smooth um, so if you have any question regarding this computer and you can add up to 16 GB uh, not 16 GB you can add up to 8 GB RAM in it too, but uh, we're gonna work with the 4 GB RAM here. So take a few seconds. Should be getting into it now. Come on, shouldn't take that long. Take that long. Okay, so you got a window, it's gonna ask you what language you want to pick. So you pick English, uh, install now. Next thing is gonna ask you that uh, what kind of operating system you have so you're gonna pick DLA DLA is digital license activation already in it press next and accept uh, the license term and conditions press next uh, because you're installing brand new so you're gonna do install window only if you're upgrading then you're gonna do the top option and click next and it takes about uh, 15 minutes so I will get back to you soon it's uh, done okay so um, window has downloaded now uh, now we have to go through a couple steps and then uh, I'll show you what uh, what to do next Okay. 
So the computer is going to start quite a few times, so don't you worry about that, because uh, uh, that's how it works. So it's uh, almost there. So what? So what we're going to do is um, what I did. I have a um, because you have to connect with the Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi or the internet. So what I have is a dongle. So that's what I use. Uh, it's good to have one of these. Um, so I'm gonna plug into the front uh, USB to download uh, the drivers and all that stuff. So that's it. Now we're just waiting for it to finish. Okay, so we got to the states, uh, the region, and the next thing is going to ask you uh, the keyboard layout. Uh, we're in US, so we're going to pick US, skip the, the keyboard layout, second one, network. Now it's going to ask you the Wi-Fi, so that's what I the put, the USB dongle I put in, that's what it is. So I'm going to put in the password and press next press uh, no All right it's connected press next okay now it's going to ask a few more questions and then should be ready to go. All right, uh, it's an organization or personal. I use it personal, so uh, pick that. Next thing is going to ask you um, the account login. Uh, if you have a Hotmail account or Outlook account or Microsoft account, you can put that information in here. If not, just click offline account and then click limited experience because if you click that then it's going to ask you the microsoft uh, uh, login and password so limited ex experience uh, pick a name i'm going to just pick x and move on password as you wish uh, if you want to put in i'm going to press next then it's going to ask you the setup uh, how you wanted to have your device set up so it's, uh, it's up to you uh, Microsoft, Microsoft recommend these, so we do that. Press accept. Last thing is Cortina. Cortina. So that's a pretty good uh, tool. You press accept, and it's gonna take a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are all set here. Um, it's pretty big. Yeah. All right. So the thing is, uh, window. Um, Send us uh, send quite a few updates. So what are you gonna do is on the search bar, type in updates window and click check updates, and it's gonna run it. Uh, because this is a and then check the, for the update. Because this is an older computer, so you need to check of the BIOS if there's any BIOS updates on this computer. So you open the Microsoft. Um, Microsoft, uh, I'll show you how to do it. You open up a Microsoft Explorer, Edge, it's a new version now. Okay, so plus confirm. There it is. So go to the Dell website. Dell. Uh, so type in just Dell BIOS. Uh, Dell 380 BIOS update. So click enter. So you need to see this one has um, has a, a seven oh seven BIOS. See if there's an update after that. So. That's where we're gonna check. So the latest is is A07. So 
and the BIOS is already updated so that's good um, so this uh, window update is gonna take about half an hour so you leave your computer running for that long and then after that as you should do should have no problem running this computer if you have any question please uh, ask me in the comments below and please subscribe and click the like button and uh, we will talk to you soon thank you